not thirsty any longer once I open this can of pop. No. Uh, okay. Remember, folks, to eat breakfast. Big mistake to ever do. Alright. So we got Fiora versus Rasmir here in winner's finals. Alright. Lots of good spacing here. It's surprising to see Rasmir going with the Mewtwo pick here. That is a character I have not seen of him, but he does have his surprises. Alright. Nice pressure with that two edge. Mario catch peak two jumping. He's got the pokey. Going for the homing tip grab. Alright. Fjord's playing patiently, trying, trying, trying to get out of the corner here. Got kind of fancy with the cancels there, but not quite enough dice to get called out by the uh, follow up after uh, Psycho Kai. Alright, good conversions. Drops it. Good anti air from Pikachu, that CA. Now that counter attack does have a mighty large hitbox. It's pretty incredible. JX opens it up from Rasmi. Homing, homing one, homing one. Just the root armored stuff. Ooh, that'll totally whiff. That's unfortunate. This will do some solid damage, however. Ten seconds on the clock. Rasmin has 20 HP left. Ooh, you're going in. You're going in with that CADC grab. We got that strat. Let's go. Point. All right, good CA from Fiora. She does not play chicken with Rasmu. Catches him when he's dashing in. Homie one will get CA. That Iron Tail is unsafe, punishable. Both characters are sitting on full meat. Well, I would have said that if Rasmus didn't fuse some meter earlier. And there he gets it back. Here's the new call. Ooh, this is gonna hurt. Hard knockdown, hard knockdown. Where's the mix up? It's 8 axe. Fior feels the pressure. Puff first. Rasmu feels that she wants to continue this pressure, but maybe Fiora will get him the 2-Y grab crush conversion straight into grab. This is going to do so much damage. Rasmu living. Thankfully for that uh, defense. On Ray. And Jack will take it for Fiora. First game. Get in here on commentary for me. Come on, man. Ah. Ah. You can do it. Let's go. Pink 2 starting off of that uh, GX. Get uh, Pink 2's only one there. Yeah, that ice punch is minus ever on the line. That it, it can't carry a true combo unless Fire Punch crits. There, though. The biggest thing that will uh, make me sad is the fact that um, he's not low speed 65 base. He too can. And it's free. And also, uh, Fiora doesn't dump the second base. I mean, 
mean, hey, those two kids play act, you know. This is true. They're not about respect. So, all right, good. Old call. This is going to get burned. It's going to scale so hard because of that defense, uh, because of Emolga hitting in the rage, but... Okay. Yeah, will catch Rasmu, waking up with that lane one. one. Yor is sitting on potentially, uh... That's not JX is terribly unsafe on the block. Looks like drops combo. Pops for the open grab though, however, it does catch it. Avoid damage. Fiora does have the benefit of neutral on the stage here. What was that? JY catching the barrier? Yeah, that's strange. He's trying to go for that tick nuzzle. CA catching that CADC. Damage there. You're just playing patient now with the zone. Drop the shield, unfortunately. Why will catch his back gas? Raspy wants that meter. He called me, he's got the attack. Oh, <laughs> It's so easy against the live base. Oh, oh, yeah, it is. Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, yes, it will. Raise okay. buff. Yeah. Raise buff. Pikachu's got buff burst damage now with this latest patch. It's oh, nasty. Did, okay. I didn't get a chance to see the Pikachu changes, so they did uh, buff the damage in general. Okay. The damage is improved. Yora is leaving it up. 2-0. This is this has been a change of pace. I've seen a lot of upsets this one, and I think that a lot of that is everybody's trying to figure out all these new things in this patch. Oh yeah, like I was still trying to figure out how the heck to use my up dash like correctly. Like everybody is just like toying around partially, and everybody else is also like, how do I deal with this new thing? Ooh, JX. Okay. Rescue opted for the Aegis Slash pick in this matchup. That's kind of strange considering his you know, strongest character is Sweet Food. Yeah, but so it's, he does this off, he's locked in a big character for the rest of the set. Get him laid down the nest. Credits to him though. Alright, CI. Um, the thing about Aegis Slash's counter attack is it is one of the few that is a mid-high, uh, so it can be anti-air. Uh, Pikachu does have a pretty good aim wide, but I don't know. The entire cast can technically aim wide, um, but most of the time we don't have it. <laughs> yeah, we don't really think about it when it's like a counter attack. Right, right. But, it's important though is to have those little details in mind. Alright. Great zone in from Fiori here. Rasmu taking the opportunity to get the attack buff off of him though. Nice. Oh, baiting. Great bait on the king shield from Fiora. Right. Ooh. He's got. That's new. I don't believe uh, Angus Slash had that before in uh, the old phase. That's that. Yeah, that or he did. It's just. Uh, I don't know what that input is, though. Maybe it's their JX. No, it's not their JX. It's not. That's a good move. Okay. Putting down the miss. Rasputin is controlling the space here. He's feeling the pressure though on that shield. <laughs> no if punish from Fiora. But then they will just go in. Freaking meter. Right. He's saving it. Frickin'. That's a swear. Yeah, <laughs> heckin'. 
Rasmus is pretty good about uh, he, he he will keep his meter unless he really believes in can help him. There we go. That's how you do it. All right, CADC away from the two line. JY zone in, get that frame trap in, get the follow up. That projectile is so nasty. I believe he can just ooh, this whip punish. Catch him jumping in with that burst. So much damage. However, do not count Rasmus out because he does have that burst on the deck. There it is, burst on deck. Trying to go in with that tick open there. Yora trying to bait out the potential of a wake up burst. Rasmus feeling the pressure just dashing in. He's feeling that time ticking. You felt an assist call. Okay, I can agree with this. In the hard knockdown at least, right? Solid damage. Yes, Pikachu's 5A is a low, uh, so it can be uh, high stanced by uh, Gengar and uh, low stanced by Aegislan. It's also high stanceable by uh, Chandler and well. Oh, Blaziken, right. Blaziken can low stance those. Uh, Pikachu's fine. Oh yeah, yeah. It's uh, Blaze getting the champ, Mewtwo uh, Shadow Mewtwo, and Mega Mewtwo. Okay. These cancels are getting fucked. All right. Rest me with that hard knockdown. Not exactly the two X ambiguous grab and block setup, but it works. A will catch Rasmus dashing in, but that JY will catch Yora jumping back. Where is it? Oh, he's just doing it over and over again. He knows it's safe on block. He knows he can abuse this normal. That's actually important. No. Oh, <laughs> no dice. And it comes sharp so that recoils him off, but. Just this good frame data for what uh, Rasmus does have available to use. Yorna's got to do something. Stop this comeback. Alright, good grab. Rasmus getting in on this pressure, he's doing it up again. Spinning to win. Ah. Just out of range for the whip money. Okay. Oh. I love it. I love how Fiora is baiting out this King Shield. She knows she can do it with her Thunderbolts, and the moment that she does, it's just an emulgus for her. Well, I'm curious if it's honestly worth it. People run the counter piercing supports to stop uh, shield from wrecking people. So, like, when they just sit there and shield from you can call the Wolga, yeah, they can dash after it, but everyone can dash should be able to act at the time to punish the shield stash. Uh, got him! This is gonna hurt. This is gonna kill, baby. Alright. taking it that one up. This potentially set point for Fiora. Nice uppercut with that uh, four more of them. Okay, okay. Trying 
apply a little bit of shield pressure. No. No. The walls. The wall quick attack. Good cancel there. Pressure. She's just sitting steady holding R right now. Okay, yeah, that was your opportunity. <laughs> oh no! This is gonna kill, buddy. Don't knock that Pikachu down to one, and it's just a boot. Hit down with the ribbon. Rest me taking it up, 2-2. Two, two. The person who takes this will be advancing onto Grams as well as the person losing this will be facing who is it in losers finals? Sir Spud. I'd expect nothing less from the best Gengar in North America. Okay. Okay. Ooh, trying to catch that shield form with the nuzzle. Big damage from Rasmus here with that sharp, sharp damage. Not having any of that for Y there. Quick attack, Y confirmed, big fully damage. Balance the scales a little bit. Anti air that spin of limb. Y take to spend the burst plus. Rasmu tried to go for the parry. Which is funny because if she does the nuzzle, I think the parry would be grabbed anyway. So. Yeah. Nice cancel to the JY. Great confirm. Yor is quickly building up this meter right now with this momentum. There it is. She's got everything on her to win this one. Okay, okay. Yeah, just prevent Rasmu from trying to get in here. He knows he wants that burst. Oh, not exactly the place of time. Alright. Pop the burst. Yep. Kill the Bielto. This is not going to punish, but it's not going to catch the JX. Crit punish for Rasmu. He drops it. Ooh. Oh! I can do it! That's gonna do it! We'll do it! Yora taking it up 3-2, advancing on to grand finals. <laughs> but my